I, for one, am a huge fan of Logic's Caps Lock keyboard. It's been an absolute lifesaver when I'm working on my laptop, and I also find myself turning to it in the studio when I just want basic note input. I've become very proficient at it too, as you can hear. Doing my grade 8 next month. Okay, obviously though, there are times when this isn't going to do. It's only an octave long, and also there are some times when you simply want to consider a sequence much more than playing it in real time, and think about it one note at a time in step time. And this is when the step input keyboard can be of real use. This keyboard, very few people seem to know about it, and yet it's extremely useful. What I can do is to choose note resolution for any sequence that I want to make here, and then I simply just enter notes as I think of them. Immediately, Logic will create a sequence for each of the notes that I play in. I'm just going to talk over the top as I make this. So there's the first half of my sequence, and if I suddenly want to flick to eighth notes, I can do that too, and then go back to entering notes. Similarly, I can enter different dynamics. So you can hear that the velocities for these notes are a little louder. And then I can go back to semiquavers again. If I want to create a chord, I can do that too. Come over to the left-hand side, press this chord button, and now, rather than moving on one step at a time, Logic's ruler will stay still until you've finished entering the chord. And the moment you come out of chord mode again, it will then move on to the next notes. So I can enter a few more notes here too. Similarly, this tool here allows me to extend any note I've created. So that note is now lasting for four semiquavers before I then go back to entering new notes again. So what I can do is to go through and create the sequence however I choose and uh, enter notes in that way. Okay, so that sequence is finished. And similarly, if I wanted to use triplets or put in rests, then I'd be able to do that too with these two commands. So let's have a listen to that. Sounds like bad 70s electronica, not to worry. Okay, so you can begin to see the power of being able to work in more sort of thoughtful ways in terms of picking a sequence and doing it in step time and the extended nature of this keyboard and its functionality.